Well, Libby, welcome to the Red and Blue. How's it feel to officially be a Melbourne player? I'm genuinely the most excited person on the planet right now. It's just an amazing opportunity to be a Melbourne Demon and I absolutely cannot wait to start with my new teammates. What was it that initially attracted you to the club? I think I'm a, a really passionate team oriented player and from the minute I walked in here I felt that warmth and that growing and developing culture um, that is in so infectious to be a part of uh, and I'm just so looking forward to being a part of that and contributing everything I can to, to this club and my new teammates. Have you had the chance to meet any of those new teammates yet? Yeah, I met, I met a few on, went, on Wednesday night, uh, which was really nice and I know uh, a few of the girls and I've got really strong connections with them. I played three years ago uh, at Darabin Falcons and there's some great um, teammates that I've sort of talked to throughout the past three years but now I got the opportunity to play with them again which is really special and um, I can't wait to uh, meet them again and start playing with them again. And you've known Daisy Pearce from the past, talk us through that relationship. Yeah, uh, it's really special. Daisy Pearce actually uh, started my football career just on three years ago. Um, she was the one that uh, took me along to the Darwin Falcons first training session and she actually um, gave me, I didn't have a pair of boots, so I've come from a, a netball background and uh, she gave me a, uh, boots, I've still got them to this day, a nice bright orange pair and uh, uh, she gave me them and I trained at the Darwin Falcons and absolutely fell in love with the game and, and the people. So you touched on your netball background, did you play that for a fair while before footy? Yeah, so up until uh, three years ago I hadn't, I hadn't touched a footy before and um, I grew up wanting to be an Australian Diamond. I was always a really, really sporty kid uh, and fell in love with netball and uh, played uh, national championships and uh, won some national championships with, with my teams and it was just a really exciting time and it's taught me a lot coming across to football, a lot about sport, a lot about teamwork and um, a lot of the skills have transferred but I've also had to learn a lot along the way. And you've already achieved the ultimate in the AFLW, winning a flag with the Dogs. Are you hungry to go again with the Ds? Oh, I absolutely am. I think it's it's infectious. You know, as a, as a team, I I think what you can impact into a, into a club and into a team game plan. I think winning that winning is the ultimate ultimate goal. Uh, but obviously, there's steps and processes behind that, and I just can't wait to do those little things um, to make sure that I'm making an impact at Melbourne um, where, wherever I can and to make sure that we're heading that way as a, as a club in 2020. And what role can the fans expect to see you play in this side? Uh, well, I'm, I'm been playing my past three years in the back line. Um, so I will play anywhere where the club and the team needs me to play. Uh, but I'd like to develop my footy um, in all aspects of, of my game. And I think I'm a person that loves to be challenged and also challenge people. So I think it's the perfect fit here at Melbourne. And I just can't wait to grow my game further. And there's obviously a bit of a break before the official AFLW pre-season kicks off. What do the next few months look like for you? I think just putting in all the hard yards with my new teammates um, and growing those relationships and building, learning about the game plan at Melbourne and working uh, on that towards 2020. So I think just a lot of hard work, playing some games of footy and uh, getting those under my belt before 2020. Brilliant. Thanks very much for your time and welcome to the club. Thanks. Go Dees.